Welcome into the latest edition then of Extra Time. Thank you for all your messy tweets. Uh, Stevie Nickel with us in the studio. Uh, Frank, with us. is Jules still with us as well? Oh, look at Jules, still happy. He has, he's still he's, got, he's got the golden ticket and he's at the look chocolate him. factory. I mean, <laughs> hey. hey, Jules, the only, the only thing is, right? It's a long fall. If oh, things go wrong. yeah, if things go wrong. If things go wrong, it's a long way down. Oh, dear. <laughs> Uh, the panelists have spent many time. To jinx it. Yeah, the panelists have spent many time criticising Neymar for taking the easy route and going to a weak league. With well, the same criticism, he levelled on Messi. Irrespective of why he left Barca, he could have gone to Serie A or the Premier League, like you guys suggested for Neymar. That's not true. Number one, he didn't leave. He didn't choose to leave. He told you he didn't want to go. Right. And right now, nobody else can afford them, pretty much. So, no. He doesn't need the money. He could go and play somewhere for cheaper, couldn't he? If that's your rolling argument, good luck. <laughs> <laughs> who are you picking first, Frank? <laughs> if you're in the playground of those three, who are you picking first? Neymar, Mbappe or Messi? Hmm. <laughs> that's Messi. a hard question. <clears throat> I would say Messi. I right. would say Messi because uh, of what he showed. But this doesn't represent the future, that's for sure. No, but just for a pickup um, game. It would be either Messi or Mbappe. Just a pickup game, um, Hollywood well, FC. First Messi. Yeah, Messi. Uh, uh, Messi, Messi. <laughs> yeah. Yes, Messi. It obviously, go Messi, Mbappe, yeah. Neymar, very low down. Sure. Jules and Frank at Barca, Messi seemed to enjoy some level of privacy. The fans mostly left him, left, left him live his life. He drives. Left, to, hold on. Left him live his life. Let, him, that mean? let him live his well, life. That's better. It's a bit of a tongue twister, Stevie. <laughs> Reading is difficult <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> let me tell you something. If I can read it, it's not that difficult. The fans mostly let him live his life. He go. drive to and from matches and training, went out to restaurants, etc. How will that change in Paris? And will such huge life upheaval affect him on the pitch? Uh, I feel this is apt for Frank. Well. Paris, um, most people, well, it's messy, so you have to consider that uh, everywhere is going to go, people will know it. And, uh, but I've, I've seen Verratti at the restaurant that I was uh, uh, going to, and uh, he was, he was um, on his own with friends, and nobody bothered him. And, I, and I'm pretty sure that Messi will find some nice restaurants where nobody's going to uh, bother him or even take care of him, because uh, some people don't know anything about football in Paris. You know, they're more interested about... Uh, I don't know, culture or something else. Some people don't know. I've got friends, I, I, I'm going to be in a play in September. When Neymar signed, he said, Frank, can you tell me what that guy is uh, on, on TV? You know, everybody's talking about him. He didn't know who Neymar was. And I guess he doesn't know who Messi is. Uh, some people in Paris don't care about that because they're not interested about the football. The truth is, you can go anywhere. Nice for Messi. You can, it doesn't matter where, what country, what city you go to. Right. You find places where you won't get bothered. Right. Either because that's just the way it is in that area, or the gaffer in charge, the guy who owns it, who you get friendly with, makes sure nobody bothers you. Did you have places in Liverpool where Absolutely. the team could go without getting bothered? Absolutely, 100%. Jules, do you have places that you and Gab can go without getting bothered? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me especially. <laughs> Gab, Gab, not so much. But, uh, <laughs> I, I agree with the boys. I, they, they are exclusive places if you want in Paris where it won't be a problem. We see it with Neymar too, who can quite freely, trust me, go out and, and he parties far more than, than Messi will ever do. So um, I don't think that would be a problem at all. Did you interact with Verratti, Frank? Oh, no, 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 because I don't know if he knows me and I didn't want to bother him. I mean, it, it, it was one of the private <laughs> he moments. He didn't want that. So Who are you? I don't know. It was, no, 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 no. I, he just, when I passed by, he just said hi, so I don't know if he recognized me because right. I looked at him. Uh, but was he uh, hi to anybody just, uh, that passes by? Being nice, so it's, I don't know. Were you in your full no, France 98 so. kit? So. Right. <clears throat> Yeah, of course, I'm going to the restaurant with your shorts and the French 98 kids. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Carry the World Cup. On the I'm, going to, I'm going to the Café de l'Homme, you know, which is in Trocadero. Jules knows it very well. You know, it's my favorite restaurant. And I always go with uh, Dan Thomas shorts because people love it. Yeah. This is very stylish. Um, am I the only person who feels that Messi and Ramos playing together violates a fundamental law of the universe. 
you. <laughs> <laughs> There's been some great pictures of them, of course, in the days of the classic Jules. But Frank, I, I imagine as a player, it doesn't matter, does it? The past? No, it doesn't matter, really matter, especially with big players like that. They're going to sort the problem out. And uh, uh, they were enemies, of course, but they had to for the fans, for the club, for the, for the, for the sake of football. Uh, but uh, I'm pretty sure the Ramos love playing with Messi, and and so be it for for uh, so it is for for Ram for Messi having uh, those players both players together in the same team is a is a plus, and they, they think the same as I, I just uh, I just said. No, it's a, it's not going to be a problem. They're smart people. They're going to go along very well, and they're going to they're going to enjoy playing together. What's your favorite Messi moment in a Barca shirt, Jules? That's a good one. That is a really good one. Um, I think I would have to go for the Getafe goal in, in the Copa del Rey semi-final in, in 06 or 07. He was not even, even though he's in 20 yet, he was still 19. And f for, the, for the viewers who don't remember, it's that goal where he gets the ball on the halfway line and it's very much a Maradona-esque. His goal, same against England, this one against Getafe, okay, not the same competition or etc. But but at 19 years of age, to be able to do that kind of things, the pace, the skills, I mean, everything about that goal is incredible. And this is not yet the super dominant Barca team either. They, of course, they won the Champions League the season before, and he was not even playing the final. But, but he's still so young. This is, this is still a Barca with right card. It's not the Guardiola era yet. And for him to do that kind of stuff, you would be watching and you go, OK. And you knew already that the following 10, well, 15 years, as we know now, would be just exceptional. Frank? Uh, it will be his first goal, uh, definitely. Um, it was an assist from Ronaldinho when he chipped the ball over the defender and then Messi chipped the ball over the goalkeeper mm -hmm. and it was his uh, first goal for Barcelona as a, as, a, as a Barca player. Fantastic. And, 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 and it's funny because when I think about that game, I see like 100 other goals uh, about that goal. I think about 100 other goals that he scored like that, mm -hmm. chipping the ball over the goalkeeper. That's kind of uh, Messi's signature. Yeah. Why are you smiling? No, because that's what I was going to say. <laughs> I'm, actually, I'm actually going to go for a hybrid of, of the two things that right. the boys have said. Mm -hmm. Because when I think of Messi, I think of not just that goal that Jules was talking about, but he scored four or five like that, picking yeah. the ball way out wide, coming in, nutmegging people, driven past three or four defenders, giving the keeper the eyes, putting it in short, putting it away. But, but to come off the bench in your first game, I mean, most normal players who come off the bench in their first game are shaking in their boots. Yeah. It's hard to get clarity. You're so excited, you're uptight, you don't want to make mistakes. I mean, this guy 10 minutes in, just summed the situation up, saw the keeper off his line and calmly dinked it over him. What's all the fuss about? Lukaku to Chelsea is a good move for now, but would have spending more and getting Haaland this summer been the smarter long-term move? It also prevents him going in a year for a lot less to a caneless city, embapulous Real Madrid or embapulous PSG. Jules? Yes, so of course, and I think the fact that Haaland was the number one target, that he's the one they went for first, and and so that there was no way this one could have happened this summer, I think shows you that, yeah, this is right. I think. Haaland made a lot more sense originally than Lukaku, but once you can't do Haaland and you realize there's no point going back and back again with Dortmund, then what do you do? Do you wait and take the risk that in a year time someone else signs Haaland because you've got no guarantees, or you go for your number two target, which is, let's be honest, very close to your number one target because I think they will also be very happy with Lukaku. Yes, it's a lot of money Oof. and he's, he's much older than, right, than Haaland, but you can also say that he's Premier League uh, guaranteed already, experience, all of that, that he's been there before, scored loads of goals in different clubs, different contexts, different situations. So it makes a lot of sense as well why you would go for Lukaku too. But yeah, but yeah, of course, the number one target again was Holland, not Lukaku. Which team in the Premier League will benefit most from fans this season? Liverpool. <laughs> you don't... You don't lose six games in the trot. No team at Anfield loses six games in a row with a crowd. Right. So, mm. Liverpool, that's an easy one. Absolutely. Frank? I would go for Liverpool, but I can add... Uh, is Newcastle still in the Premier League? Yes, yes. they are, Frank. Yes. yes. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, but uh, yeah, uh, for me, the two best atmosphere is crazy. Newcastle, 52,000 people, uh, crazy Jordies. Uh, that's going to be a plus for, for a team who's going to fight uh, for not going down. And, and oh, yeah, I agree with uh, Stevie, best atmosphere ever um, on Field Road, for sure. Final question. It's one of our favorites, Frank. Are Capri long pants or short pants? And <laughs> are they acceptable in a restaurant setting? <laughs> what is Capri? They're the kind of half, the, yeah, I mean, the, just below the knee jobs. Alessandro had oh, no, a pair no, no, of them on, the yes. yellow ones. Yeah, yeah, nah. Alessandro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have them, you know, to take my breakfast, you know, at home, you know, but very chill out uh, kind of uh, uh, shorts, let's say, or Capris. Uh, but uh, no, 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 I wouldn't go that far. I mean, I mean, I mean, the, the pants that uh, Alessandro is, uh, uh, is wearing are not really Capris. They go a little bit further down. They don't go and they don't hide the, the uh, you call, how do you say that? The, um, oh. Calves. Uh, the, the ankle, the ankle. But uh, but it's uh, it's uh, it's it's kind of stylish. I like that. But those capris are too. Uh, some people in French they wear wear it that, is. but it's not very nice. You know? it's like, so, so you it's have like them. You have those. You, bizarre, eat, you know? So you eat breakfast with those on. How many changes of costume do you have a day, Frank? You have like a breakfast outfit, a lunch <laughs> outfit, dinner. Oh uh, yes. Uh, yeah, I've got breakfast. Well, it depends when I my day, but I also change my watches depending on the, on the on the on the on what I'm wearing. Uh, oh, I'm, I'm big one. time! More crazy, than one watch. Crazy, I know. So here's, here's one for you, Frank, right? <laughs> of course. So if you can't wear shorts in a, in a of good, of course, I, I... <laughs> if you can't wear shorts in a good restaurant, right? How about no, no, of course not. Jacket, shirt and tie, <laughs> long socks, shoes, and Bermuda shorts. <laughs> Bermuda shorts. Yeah, uh, yeah. You can, if you play golf, if you play golf, it's perfect. No, 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 no. If you play no, golf no, in 1932, no, no. You go perfect. to no. If you go to Bermuda, all the big restaurants. Yeah. Bermuda shorts yep, are but absolutely 100 percent acceptable. But not socks. Go. Not socks. Yes. You don't wear socks if you wear a Bermuda. You of course no, you of do. Course not. You don't go to. Of course. No, no, I'm sorry. You have, Listen, uh, Dan. I am Stevie, no fashionista, but I'm us, telling you, you wear socks. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. You don't wear socks. You wear socks with you if you're Scottish and you, you have a dress. Long, you, you have a, a You skirt, wear socks you know? up to the, below your knee, Frank. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm it's telling only you. Scottish and you wear a skirt. I, you know? who know yeah, nothing but, about but fashion, Dan showed us... I'm telling you that's correct. Yeah, of course. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, uh, Dan showed us a picture of Ronaldo wearing shorts with the, with the jacket. And you can check, he has no socks whatsoever. Yeah, he wasn't, number one, they weren't Bermudas. Two, he was in his, <laughs> he was in his uh, driveway, <laughs> sitting on a car. He wasn't in some fancy no, restaurant eating a meal. Ah, oh, dear, that's it. That's it. That's nah, enough. Well, let's go Frank, I'm telling yeah. you. Let's go, this is Whatever. The, let's go home, get well, a bed. I want to know, are you wearing underwear under your no! skirt? You know, we're not talking uh, about that now. <laughs> Oh, that's it. Oh, well, that's all there was a quick... Pass forward, move was on, goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Au revoir. <laughs> Bonsoir. Bonjour. Oh, who wants to know that? Au revoir. Oh, God. Yeah, me. <laughs> <laughs>